there's a 50% probability that bond A will default and a 30% probability that bond B will default. What's the range of probability that at least one of the bonds will default? What is the range of their correlation? Before we move on to the solution, here's the refresher on some of the basics. A Bernoulli random variable, the simplest kind of random variable, takes on two values, 0 and 1, takes on value 1 with probability p and the value 0 with probability 1 minus p. If x is a Bernoulli random variable, the PMF is given by this probability that x equal to 1 is p and the probability that x equal to 0 is 1 minus p. The expectation is equal to p and the variance is p times 1 minus p. Note that the expectation is the same as probability that x equal to 1. Now coming back to our problem, we define two Bernoulli random variables x and y. x is equal to 1 if bond A defaults, 0 otherwise, and y is equal to 1 if bond B defaults, 0 otherwise. x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 is the event that both the bonds default. x equal to 1 or y equal to 1 is the event that at least one of the bonds will default. Now, we are given that the probability of bond A defaulting is 50% and the probability of bond B defaulting is 30%. And we have to find what's the probability that at least one of the bonds default, which can be denoted by probability that x equal to 1 or y equal to 1. We can write this probability, probability x equal to 1 or y equal to 1 is equal to probability x equal to 1, that is bond A defaulting, plus probability that y equal to 1, which is bond B defaulting, minus probability x equal to 1 and y equal to 1, that is probability of both the bonds defaulting. We are already given probability x equal to 1, bond A defaulting is 50%, probability, of, probability that bond B defaults is 30%, and the, we don't know the probability of both the bonds defaulting, but we can estimate the range of uh, probability of both these bonds defaulting. To find the range of uh, probabilities that both the bonds will default, you can think of it in terms of a Venn diagram, where one set is the probability that bond A defaults, the other set is probably that bond B defaults, and the overlapping region is probably that both the bonds will default. So minimum is when this overlapping region is, overlapping region's area is minimum, and the minimum would be zero when there is no overlap. Maximum would be when one of the sets is completely overlapping with the other. So the maximum in this case would be 30%. When one, when the, when one of the sets is completely inside the other one. So we can put these values and we'll get the maximum probability that x equal to one or y equal to one, which is 50% plus 30% minus the minimum probability of both the bonds defaulting, which is zero, so we get 80%. And the minimum is when we have the uh, probability that both the bonds will default equal to 30%. So this gives us 50%. So the range of probability is 50 to 80%. Coming to the second part of the question, we have to find the correlation between the defaults. Now, for a Bernoulli random variable, we have seen uh, in the previous slides that probability that x equal to 1 is equal to the expectation is equal to the probability p. So we can write our uh, equation which we have just written, probably that x equal to 1 plus probably y equal to 1 minus probably x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 in terms of the expectation as expected value of x plus expected value of y minus expected value of xy. And we also know that the covariance between two random variables x, y is defined by expected value of x, y minus expected value of x times expected value of y. So rewriting this equation, taking the expected value of x, y onto the left hand side, we have expected value of x, y equal to expected value of x times expected value of y plus covariance between x and y. So expected value of x 
is equal to probably that x equal to 1 expected value of y is probably that y equal to 1 plus the covariance term here now probability x equal to 1 and probably y equal to 1 is given in the question 50% and 30% so we have this 0.15 here plus the covariance so our expected value of x y becomes 0.15 plus the covariance between x and y and we also know that the covariance between x y can be written in terms of correlation as the correlation r times the standard deviation of x times the standard deviation of y and the standard deviation can be written as the square root of variance the variance of a Bernoulli random variable is p times 1 minus p we have seen this in the previous slides for variable x we have p equal to probably x equal to 1 so we put in these values and we get the variance of x and y equal to 0.25 and 0.21 respectively so putting in the expected value of x y in our equation equal to 0.15 plus the covariance of x y and also the expected value of x plus expected value of y which is given in the question 0.5 and 0.3 solving this we get 0.65 minus the covariance of x y and as we have just seen in the previous slides we can write the covariance in terms of the correlation r and the standard deviations we get we get this expression from part one of this question we know that the maximum value of probability x equal to 1 or y equal to 1 is equal to 0.8 and the minimum value is equal to 0.5 so we can equate this expression of the correlation equal to 0.8 once and then equal to 0.5 once and then solve to get the range of values putting this expression equal to 0.8 we get the correlation equal to minus 0.65 and when we put it equal to 0.5 we get the correlation equal to 0.65 so the range of correlation is minus 0.65 to 65 and this is the answer to the second part of the question